Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make some registry entries in your iNano setup program. So first, of course, here I have my myproc.exe, just a executable that just shows some message boxes. So first of all, let's create the project. Um, here, create and create it using the setup wizard that will help you get the basic script done. So yeah, this is fine for now. Um, disable this. We don't, don't need this. And here I recommend to uncheck this and check this. Um, I would allow the user to override the install mode. And but yeah, better check this on the bottom. That, that gives the user even more control. Um, the custom compiler output folder I recommend to set to where your project is. So right here, my app and create a folder called dist. Okay. And we're done. Here's our script, our basic script. And you can compile it. So if you compile it, yeah, um, and save it as installer so now it's compiling and here we have it in our dist folder yeah and it works um, now let's say we want to make some something in the context menu so if we press the right button on the file we get a button here to do something with it, so open our program with it. So th this is done in the registry, so go to the registry editor. And as you can see here, under HK class root, then here are the fi file types. The asterisk means that every file type. So in the sh shell folder, if you, we look at VS Code, for example, this is a directory and the default value is open v uh, with VS Code and under the command directory there the default value points to the executable of VS Code and you can see that right here they're open with code so we want to do that too so first we have to create a directory here in the shell folder so First, create a registry section, and in here uh, we have to type in a few parameters. So first, root colon, and this is the root. So we need h key classes root. The abbreviation for this is is hkcr. Then uh, the path. We don't actually write path or something. We write sub key and we need this to be at asterisk shell and my app, for example. So asterisk shell and my app. And for some reason, if we want to create a folder, we also have to specify the value data to be none. So I an empty string. But that only creates the folder. We also need, as you can see here, um, the default value, default data. So let's just copy paste this line onto a new one. And value data, yeah, we will just change it, change it to open with my app. And we'll also have to specify the value type, as you can see here. It's ex reg expand cz. This is a type, and if you want to use it, you have to do a val value type colon, and it's called ex expand cz. So in a string, expand cz. So now we have a four folder and a default value for it. But we also need a subfolder 
with the default value of the that points to the program. So we can basically just copy paste this again and add a command here and a backslash command here. So yeah, this creates the folder and this creates the correct data. So and we need it to be the path of our application. And there it is, we can just copy paste this. Of course, you need to have the permissions to edit the registry. So uncomment this and set it to admin. And then here, we don't want the user to be able to just not give the permissions, so comment that out. And now, if we compile it, everything should work just fine. So my setup, now let's actually use my app for this. So it installs under my app. Next, 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 install. Now if we launch this, it just opens this program. And if we right click, you can see the open with my app. And it works just fine. And if we go into the registry, as you can see here, it creates the my app folder and in the subfolder, it created the default value to that points to my app. Thank you very much for watching. I make these videos because I had the same problem and I want to help others solve it easier than me. Please drop off a like to give me motivation to make more of these videos. See ya.